Hello people, welcome to my channel Plan With Nairi and what I want to say, good news, I've moved into my new craft room. So my craft room is really tiny, it was a really tiny bedroom that one of my sons was in and we've moved him out, he literally had a bed, a chest of drawers low lying and one other chest of drawers in it, so it's a tiny, tiny space and I was actually in a different bedroom just in the corner but now I've moved into my craft room and everything that we've used, just pretty much everything, I don't think there's anything that I can think of, is from Ikea. So I, everything that we've used I don't think there's anything that I can think of in here that isn't, is from Ikea. And so managed to do the whole room for under a thousand pounds, which if you're in the US, obviously that's going to be less again. And I think it was something like £850, something like that, the whole room. So I'm going to go through each of the items in the room. I'm not necessarily going to go through what I'm going to use them for, but I'm also going to show you the setup of my camera, overhead camera, so you can see what I do there, and the lighting. So I'm sure you've seen these trolleys before, these trolley things that people use for their stickers. So that's what I've done. And I put some inserts in there as well. These felt boxes, they were from Ikea. I'm not going to go through the prices here. What I'm going to do is, if it can be Amazon linked, I'm going to put it in the description below. If it can't be Amazon linked, I'm just going to put it under an Ikea description so you could basically purchase anything in this video. So we repapered the room. And then there are these shelving units which are super amazing because all of the shelves are you can just adjust them and so i felt like for the planners especially they're going to be brilliant and also for storing sort of old planners as well in boxes and things got those boxes from ikea as well um that box there from ikea all the boxes in the room pretty much there was these magazine kind of things for putting lightweight things in but I'm not going to put them in the description so they literally are like light cardboard and I don't, don't think they're going to last very long. So then here is an Alex unit, uh, draw unit. At the bottom, as you can see, deeper drawers. And you can get these in different colours. Okay, I've gone for a wacky kind of blue colour because I'm unlike that. But this spinny thing, I'm pretty sure that came from Ikea as well. I'm not talking about the stuff in it although the light bulbs did, so I haven't unwrapped stuff yet. And then there's this deep drawer unit here, wide. So in there, I'm gonna put all my kind of like washi tapes and stuff like that, and um, kind of like collage stuff, because although I'm a planner, I like to do different mediums in my planners, in my happy planners. So let me just show you, okay? I know it's not brilliantly organized, but you can see that tray came, came from Ikea, so watch I can get them all lined up nicely, really, really handy. And then, la piece de resistance is the desk, again from the Alex range. So you've got drawers either side of the desk. So what I've done is I put some of my kind of technical gear in one end, I'll put my note taking stuff in another end, I got this um, extension lead so I can do all my kind of like filming and stuff and editing. Look, I'm editing one for you now, guys, going off on the computer, um, down that in there. So this desk is massive, but I wanted it like this so that I could do my planning on one end and get wax paper out and stuff, but I could do my editing and filming and stuff at the other end. So I wanted a really long desk. And this chair here, definitely I got off of Amazon and um, you can get it off of Ikea as well it's so comfortable it was about 90 pounds in our money it is so comfortable lots of different colors as well lots of variations on colors for all of this guys as well if you don't like the colors I've chosen I'm a bit wacky sometimes in my choices so if you are interested in the camera setup then this is an El Elgato extension arm I've managed to put that on the back of the desk which gives me lots of room at the front and on here I've got a ZV-1 camera which is clipped onto here and a microphone in it as well so I can put the links for that below 
Also, these lights. I've had a lot of trouble with my lighting. It's either been too fierce, as in ring lights, kind of making me hot, or not strong enough. Um, so these lights were really reasonable for my Kia, and I put a really quite powerful bulb in there, and you can like twist them around, so I can have it onto my computer if I need light in the evening and I don't want the main light on. And I've got two set up and they're literally kind of plugged in. I've got that lead there for that one. That's plugged into my plugs below. And brilliant, smooth them around. Also, fantastic, these pegboards from Ikea again. And you can buy them already coming with some of these compartments or you can buy the little compartments to clip on um, individually. So let me just show you, this is so easy. Just take a pot off and put what you want in it. I've not filled all mine up yet, which is a good thing because I don't want to fill them all up yet, otherwise I'm in big trouble. But also you can buy these lovely hooks with the pegboard, as many as you want. So if you want to hook your washi tape or you want to hook little bits and bobs onto the pegboard, you can. Seriously guys, so cheap these hooks. I can't remember how much, but just that's what they look like. And also, I like these peg clip things. If I want to put photos on, type of thing. Clips to put things on. So you can see I've like hit my scissors and I'm using pot pens and stuff, but I'm sure I'm gonna like change things around. It's the first time I've come in here. So bought these big jars from Ikea. Don't know what I'm gonna use them for. But as you can see, another one up there, one over there. But these shells, again, easy to mount, super strong. Like if I want to put um, files or planners on there or something really heavy, I can. And then there are these box cubby holes as well, super strong. Like you can put as many books as you want in there. They are, are actually meant to be book cases, book shelves. I think these are the Eket range. So. They're from different ranges, albeit most of the actual key furniture with the drawers is the Alex range. The shelves are a different range, the boxes are a different range, but I'll put all that in the description below. And then just to brighten up, I've just ordered some little mirrors and they weren't from Ikea, just to kind of give it some extra zippy zappy, really. Here, also, I decided I could put some rings on here and then put my old planner sheets that are kind of like, you know, falling to bits, those ones, and clip those onto the ring, and then I'll be able to go through and see what I've got, and I don't kind of like then, kind of lose bits and pieces, really. Obviously, this is my laptop. This is a hard drive, the Lacey hard drive. Amazing. If you don't have a hard drive yet, and you're struggling with storage space, this is incredible. I'll put the link for that below, too. So guys, I hope that helps you um, to think about if you have a tiny space, then you can do so much with it if you, you want to. found that helpful. And I hope that if you're looking for furniture or you're thinking of setting up a craft space that you'll be able to do that now. So the only thing I'd ask is if you are American and you do try and tap onto one of the Amazon links, perhaps you could comment below if you managed to successfully get through. Because as a British person, obviously I'm in the UK, I've had to set up Amazon for two countries. And I'd really like to know if you can successfully get through on the link. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to Plan With Nairi.